Namaste to all. I am Dee Harini. And I am Dee Harini. Today we are here to show you 9 different yogi practices like 1 loosen up, 6 different types of asanas and 2 different types of pranayamas that helps in physical and mental development of students during this pandemic situation. Let's start with prayer. Om Yogena Chittasya Padena Pacham Manam Sarirasya Chavaitya Kena Yopa Karotam Pravaram Muninam Patanjalim Pranjadirana Tosmi Baba Purushakaram Chanka Chakra Siddharinam Sahasra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Om Shanti 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 The first yogic practice we are going to see is Sukshima Vyayama. This warm up was introduced by Swami Virendra Brahmachari. Now let us see the steps to do with some of the benefits of it. Foot stretch forward and backward. Foot rotation clockwise and anticlockwise. Knee bend right and left and both knee bend. Full butterfly. Dynamic spinal twist. Shashang Bhujangasana Sit up Hip rotation clockwise and anticlockwise Wrist rotation clockwise and anticlockwise Hands rotation clockwise and anticlockwise Shoulder rotation clockwise and anticlockwise Neck rotation clockwise and anticlockwise Eyeball rotation clockwise and anticlockwise. Okay. Let me explain brief about Sukshma Vyayama. This group of asanas is concerned with loosening up the joints of the body. It is beneficial for rheumatism, arthritis, high blood pressure and heart problems. Influence at the physical and chronic levels. Harmonizing and revitalizing the body and improving the function of the internal organ. The second yogic practice we are going to see is Marjari Asana and Vyagrasana. Marjari Asana is commonly known as Cat Stretch Pose. Vyagrasana is the Sanskrit word which means the tiger pose. Let us observe how to do it with some of the benefits of it. Marjana Asana and Vyagra Asana benefits Good for the spine as it stretches the backbone and strengthens its well also improving its flexibility Strengthens the shoulders Good for digestive organs Improve the metabolism Thank you The third yogic practice is Surya Namaskar It is also known as Sun Salutation this is a technique which is being used since Asian times to pay respect to the sun. Steps to perform Surya Namaskar Pranamasana or the prayer pose Normal restful breathing Hasta Uttanasana or the raised arm pose Inhalation of breathing 
are the hastasana or the standing forward pose exhalation of breathing ashva sanchalasana or the equestrian pose inhalation of breathing santolanasana or the plank pose exhalation of breathing ashtanga namaskarasana or the eight limbed salutation no breathing takes place bhujangasana or the cobra pose inhalation of breathing adho mukha svanasana or the downward dog pose exhalation of breathing ashva sanchalasana or the equestrian pose inhalation of breathing pada hastasana or the standing forward pose exhalation of breathing hasta uttanasana or the raised arm pose inhalation of breathing pranamasana or the prayer pose normal restful breathing thank you benefits of surya namaskar helps with weight loss strengthens muscles and joints helps combat insomnia ensures regular menstrual cycle spinal cord and abdominal muscles are stretched stimulates the manipura chakra improves balance in the nervous system improves digestion and reduces constipation the fourth yogic practice is bhujangasana or the cobra pose it is a reclining back bending asana it is commonly performed in a cycle of asanas in surya namaskar bhujangasana benefits bhujangasana is a cobra pose strengthens the spine stretches chest and lungs shoulders and the abdomen stimulates abdominal organs opens the heart and lungs good remedy for sciatica therapeutic for asthma thank you the fifth yogic practice is chakrasana or urdhva dhanurasana it is also known as the wheel pose let's observe the demonstration of this yoga pose step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 chakrasana benefits of chakrasana chakrasana strengthens the legs it is beneficial to nervous digestive respiratory cardiovascular and glandular system it influences all the hormonal secretion and help to relieve various gynecological disorders The sixth yogi practice is sarvangasana or the shoulder stand. This asana is an inverted asana in modern yoga as exercise. Let us see how to do it. Step 1 Step 2 and step 3 sarvangasana benefits of sarvangasana sarvangasana helps in nourishing the brain by supplying more blood to it it relieves constipation and indigestion it reduces insomnia anxiety and etc It normalizes the function of thyroid and parathyroid glands. It stimulates the thymus gland which helps in improving the immune system. It relieves cough, cold, asthma and headache too. 
The seventh yogic practice is Sirasasana. It is called the king of all asanas. Now let's see the steps to do with its benefits. Step 1 Step 2 Step 3 And Step 4 Benefits of Sirasasana Calms the brain and helps relieve stress and mild depression. Stimulates the pituitary and pineal glands. Strengthens the arms, legs, spine and lungs. Tones the abdominal organs. Improves digestion. Therapeutic for asthma, infertility, insomnia and sinusitis. The eighth yogic practice we are going to learn is a pranayama called the Brahmari Pranayama. This pranayama is also known as the humming bee breathing technique. Let us learn what is the steps to do Brahmari Pranayama. Sit in a quiet and ventilated place. Sit in Vajrasana. Keep Shanmugi Mutra while doing the Brahmari Pranayama. Sit up straight and place your hands on your face with one thumb on each traverse. The index finger lightly touching the inner corners of your eyes. The middle finger on the sides of the nose. The ring finger above the lips and the pickles just above. a self healing and relieving hypertension best stimulant to the nerves stimulating pineal and pituitary glands it control anger it prevents heart block ages thank you the ninth yogi practice is nadi shodhana pranayama or alternate nostril breathing it is a yogic breathing control practice here is the demonstration of this pranayama nadi shodhana pranayam means alternative nostril breathing the Sanskrit word Nadi comes from channel. Chodana means purification. Pranayama means extension of prana or breath or extension of life force. Come, let's see a demo of Nadi Chodana Pranayam. You can sit in any meditative asanas like Bhatmasana, Vajrasana, Svastikasana, Sukhasana, Siddhasana. Then you should keep your left hand in Chimutra. Right hand in Nashita Mutra. Close right nostril through thumb finger. Exhale left nostril and inhale left nostril. Then close left nostril through ring finger. Exhale right nostril and inhale right nostril. Then close right nostril. Exhale left nostril. This is one cycle. Time duration for Nadi Sodhana Pranayam is minimum 15 cycles. Then maximum 30 cycles. Then for Nadi Let me explain brief about Nadi Sodhana Pranayam. It makes the digestive system strong, relieving migraine, anxiety and stress of the mind, controlling high blood pressure or hypertension, remove blockage in the heart, removing constipation and acidity, good for asthma patients. Thanks for the opportunity and we would like to say thanks to Yogi Culture for giving us the best practices for protecting ourselves of physical and mental health during this pandemic. And we extended our heartfelt thanks on the behalf of students. We would like to say thanks to Bal Pradeshni team head and team leaders and the PBM management. Thank you. Namaste everyone, I am Stuart Sangma, Physical Education Teacher from Prasant Vidya Mandir and I hope everyone are doing great uh, during this uh, pandemic. I know it has been a challenging you know, time for each and every one of us during this uh, pandemic. 
and our first priority would be taking care of our health by keeping ourselves physically and mentally strong and I'm really excited uh, to showcase some of the uh, physical activities done by our students during this pandemic they say that doing all those physical activities at home it really kept them active mentally and physically so let's get in the video and let's see how exactly they have got their time this is how the first activity look it's called the secured workout start with jumping jack jog on the line push up rest for 30 seconds jump in and out around the circle push up positions tap your shoulder rest for 30 seconds glide and touch box a and b then jog on the line then you make a spider climb and after you're done with spider climb you can move to the finishing point Namaste my name is Sasalas I am studying in 6th standard C session today I will show you how exactly I am trying to keep myself physically and mentally fit during pandemic using the space in terrace This is number 1 jump and jack by splitting the leg open the arm over the head along with the line Namaste, I am Dhanwan Sai of class 8 standard B section. 
today i will show you how exactly i am trying to keep myself physically and mentally fit during this pandemic by drawing ladder on the floor using the chalk piece i do ladder in the floor just take a look exercise 1 step in and out of the box Exercise number 2 double letter hoops Exercise number 3 single leg hops up a height with single leg in each box exercise number 4 high knee run run on every box keeping the knee high Number five. Letter who backward. Who backward in each box with both leg. By doing this ladder drill, we can improve speed of footwork, body reaction, and ability to think and react instantly. Thank you. Namaste. I am. I am studying for television. I am making myself fit and mentally, physically during this pandemic time.
beloved teacher for giving me this opportunity. I am very happy. I am a great man. I am going to tell about painting. Painting is the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to a solid surface. Painting is important for me.
ट्रांसलेटिंग में फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड ये शर्ट है मेकिंग हैंड मेड ज्वेलरी हैंड मेड ज्वेलरी विच हैव बी असेंबल्ड एंड मेड बाय फीलिंग All us need for doodling are a chart paper, a fine pencil, eraser, and a black fine pen.
The first step is to make the circle of fabric that are needed to create a flat metal. Place a round object on the top of your fabric and trace around it using a pen. After you have finished tracing the circle, use scissors to cut it out of the fabric. Decide how many petals you want to make for the flat. I think 5 petals works well, so I cut out 5 circles. Take one of the fabric circle and fold it half. Once you have done that, fold it half again. It should now look like a quarter of the circle. Use a needle and thread to see the sides of the folded piece of fabric. As you do this, you should take the shape of petal. Once you have created all flower petals, you need to seat them together. Cut away excess thread left over after trying and not to secure the end. Once you have finished creating your first fabric part, you can make more if you wish. Once you get into practice, you will find that this is a fast Painting is known across the world to be a part.
perfect medium for therapeutic arts. This is simple and easy way uh, when which uses natural pigmentation to create wonderful works of the arts which are endearing to the soul. Needed things canvas board, coffee powder, brush, scissors, mixing bowl, and water.